Hi, it's Fiona from Reads and Eats here. I'm here to do my May book day wrap up. So I've had a really good month. I can't believe I managed to read. Hold on, I'm gonna have to check where you died. Read 12 books, which I can't believe it's. I've had to have quite a bit on. And I managed to do that, so I'm really chuffed. Right, let's just get started. As you know, I had I think about three or four in my last TBR pile that I thought, yeah, I'm gonna be able to read these during the month of May. I read, I think, three of them, which is great. Others, one that I tried to read but didn't manage it, but that's the way it goes. Okay, first one I did read was The Story of Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. This was my first graphic type novel. Um, it was one that my father had, and I, I borrowed it. And as you can see, I mean, the, di the illustrations are fantastic. They are just so, so nice. And in black and white, it's very atmospheric. I enjoyed this. I have to say I did enjoy it. Whether I would now want to go and read the full Treasure Island story, I don't think so. I think I'd be, I'm quite happy just to stick at what I've read. And yes, it was it was very good, very enjoyable. So that was the first one. Next one was the one I, I, bought, I borrowed from a friend, and it's Terry Pratchett's The Dragons of Crum Crumbling Castle. That story, Dragons at Crumbling Castle, was excellent. I really, really loved it. It was a great story. And there's another story about Santa going to work in a zoo and things like that. That was, it was really good. Again, it is this book is illustrated, so you get some really lovely illustrations, as you can see there. Um... What I did was wondering was the the person that illustrated it. The illustrations are very like the Quentin Blake ones for Roald Dahl, so I don't know whether there's a crossover there. As a whole, the book, yes, I enjoyed it, but I think what you have to remember is that a lot of the stories in this book were ones that he later used elsewhere. Um, some of some things went into the Discworld series, some didn't. So it was his very beginnings of his writing. So they were okay, but I w wouldn't say wow, yeah, m brilliant magic. But no, I enjoyed it. As you might remember in a previous video, I got a really nice book free from uh, Penguin USA, and that's Diana Bishop's Commonplace book. This is to this coincides with the publication of the Book of Life in paperback in America, and. This is a tie-in with um, the one before, the uh, Shadow of the Night, and it's really well done. It's beautiful. As you can see, they've kind of aged the pages. Hope you can see that. And they've also used really beautiful script writing. It's brilliant. It's to, it's to make it look as if Diana herself actually wrote in it. And the things that they've got in here, they've got, what's it, um, a chest of coins used in Her Majesty's realms. So you're looking at Queen Victoria, it's uh, 1590. So she tells you what all the different coins were. Um, and she looks at, she, um, there's a, a, a recipe to get rid of migraines, could be useful. Um, there's also one for how to get rid of stain, ink stains in your fingers having used a fountain pen. That one could be very, very useful for me, actually. Um, and then there was like, you've got um, what the weather was like and what who she's met, but she doesn't give real names, she just gives their initials, which is really good. Um, a couple of poems that were written by her husband, Matthew. And then you have, really nicely, you have a map of where they're, they're staying in England. So that's really nice, it's in the, where in the village they are. And then even better, you get an actual map of the house they're living in. So that, that is really, really handy. And then you have bits and pieces about um, the various star signs and what it could mean. And then you have blank pages, so you can use it as your own rebook where you can put in your own notes and things. It was, it was, it was really nicely done. I really I liked the bits that tie in with the books where it gives you more sort of background information. There's that really, really nice book, so thank you, Penguin USA. And... I got round to reading this. I got round to reading Kathy Rice's Terminal. This is the fifth book in the viral series and I loved it. I so, so enjoyed this. This story, if you haven't read the viral series, is about Tori Brennan, who is, if you read Kathy Rice, Temp Brennan, it's her niece. And this 
Tori goes to live with her father on an island that deals with scientific research. They, I don't, I don't think they use, they don't use animals, but there, are, there is a like wild animal colony around, and she rescues a a wolf pup, and he becomes kind of her like like her pet. Something happens. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but herself and her four friends catch a virus, and this virus does things to them, and. This is the fifth book, and they're still trying to find out the answers as to what's happened to them, why it's happened to them, and there is another pack of virals, and it's the story of the two packs. So I'm that's all I'm going to say, but fantastic read, really, really, really good. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And the great thing is that she's left it wide open that hopefully they will read, they will write another one, because I really want to know what happens. The rest of the books that I read this month are all on my Kindle. I had a comment from a friend who watched my one of my videos. And she's like, you're using your Kindle a lot. What about books? I love books. I love books. So, Charlotte, I do love books. I adore books. It's just that this month I happened to do, use the Kindle Unlimited free subscription for a month. And there were some books I thought, oh, quite fancy trying that, quite fancy trying that. And that's why I've been using my Kindle a lot this month. But I promise I am going back to book books, okay? I'm going back to real books. Hold my hand. So I've got a wee diary here because I cannot remember everything I wrote. Every month I write down all the books that I've read. So the first one I read in my Kindle was Enchantress by James Maxwell. Now this is the start of the Everman series. Fantastic. Absolutely loved it. It's to do with a brother and sister, and she wants to be an enchantress. He wants to be a blade singer, who, which is a very specialised uh, fighter. And it's just their story. And they are, they're, they were orphaned, and they don't know why they were orphaned. They don't know who their parents were, and they end up finding out who their parents were. And that is such a really lovely part of the the series. And they end up, or they end up, sorry, the story. And they end up having to save their part of the world. And that's all I'm saying. It was absolutely fantastic and I really want to read the next one. It's a series I think that I'm going to thoroughly enjoy. Okay, looking at my book. The next one I read was Firefly Beach by Mira Penterman. This is the first book I've ever read of this author's. And again, I really, really enjoyed it. The story is that a woman rents a cottage in, I think it's Maine, Australia, uh, America, sorry, and she finds there's this little glowing firefly, but the firefly can fly through glass and things like this, and she's like, oh, go away, leave me alone, give me, leave me alone, but she ends up following one, one night, and she finds this beach, this deserted beach. And it's beautiful. And she, the following day, she goes down, and this wee firefly appears again, and he leads her to a secret cave. And in that cave, she finds a diary, and she reads the diary to discover that the diary was written by the daughter of the man whom she is renting her her cottage from. And the story is basically this lady trying to find out what happened to the man's daughter. And why the man is so gruff, and she makes friends in the within the the village, and she ends up being helped by the local jeweler. Um, again, it was a beautifully written story. The characters were very very good. The descriptions of, sort of the area were were great. So it was a sort of supernatural type book, and again, well worth a read. So thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it. The next book I read, tying in with the commonplace book, I read The Book of Life by uh, Deborah Harkness. This is the third book in the series. She's written it so it was left wide, wide open that I'm sure there's going to be other books. So I'd be really pleased about that. But this is the story, finishing the so supposedly finishing the story of Matthew and Diana. They're back from Queen Elizabeth's... 19, uh, 1590s England. They're back to modern day. They have to deal with the changes that have, that have happened to them because they've been in the 1590s. They have to come back to modern life. Um, they have to 
deal with what they've learnt about themselves and what's happened to their families while they've been away. They also have to deal with Matthew's, one of Matthew's sons, who is not a nice man, that's all I'm saying. And they have to find the Book of Life because uh, it's going to give them answers. They also have to deal with other characters who you've met before and it's really, really good. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, some people I know who are in the book, the group I'm in in Goodreads are like, oh, I don't know, don't know, I really don't know if I'm going to like it. But it was a very, very good read and I would recommend it to anybody. The next group of books I read were by Diane Moody and it's a, a collection called the Teacup Novellas. This premise is that Lucy has, in, has inherited teacups from her Aunt Lucille and each teacup helps her write a story. Um, so you've got one about Jane Austen, you have one about a log cabin, you have, hold on a minute to check, you have one about a, a girl coming home to her hometown, um, you have one about a legend and you have one about Christmas. And they are all beautifully written. They really are gorgeously written. There is some religious content in it and I'm fine with that, I don't mind. And it's not done in such a way as the ram down your throat. It is just very gentle, very nice. It's as if you're, yeah, that, that would definitely happen. That would be right. So, again, very, very well written. And I would just say I'm actually going to go and read some more Diane Moody's because I think they are beautifully, beautifully books. And I like the idea of the teacups helping Lucy, the writer, write her stories because she was having writer's block. So that, I thought that was a really nice premise. So, yeah, I like those. The next one I read was Gilded by Christina Fairley. Again, I've never read anything by this author and it was a pickup from um, Kindle Unlimited free subscription. It's about a young girl or teenager who goes back to live in South Korea with her father because her father's job has moved him there and her mother died so she's going with him. She doesn't really want to leave America but that's the situation. She thinks her grandfather doesn't like her. She's an expert at Taekwondo and also at archery. And this story is about a Korean legend and this um, gentleman who is going to marry a princess. She didn't want to marry him and she escaped and he's not happy. So he's now sort of taking the first female from each generation of that family to try and get them to marry him and unfortunately for Jay she's the first female in her generation so he he thinks oh well you know here we go I'm going to try again and it's this it's it's basically the story of what happens and about the friends that she's making while she's in Korea so it was it was very very good Whew, well that's it that is all the the reads for the month gone by. I will now quickly do uh, my TBR list for this month. Um, there's one on my bookshelf that I haven't brought over that I'm actually going to quickly look at. It is The Ways of the World by Robert Goddard. I've actually just started reading that so that is one of my TBRs for this month. It uh, looks like it's going to be kind of an adventure story and to do with spies and things so that, that sounds quite interesting. Definitely on my list for this this month is Richard Castle's Heat Wave. If any of you have seen my previous videos, you'll know that I adore Castle, the TV series, and I thought I wanted to give the books uh, a chance. I want to see what they're like. Um, Nathan Fillion as Rich, Rick Castle, superb. Absolutely brilliant. So I hope that the quirkiness and everything from the TV series comes over in the books. Next one I have on my TBR list is Debbie McComer's, or Maycomer, depends which way you want to pronounce it, Last One Home. This looks really interesting. It's to do with uh, a, a lady who comes home to her hometown, I don't know why, but reconnects with her two sisters. They seem to have been estranged for some reason, so I'm really looking to, forward to seeing how this works out. I really like Demi, Debbie McComer as a writer, and I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes. And the last one on my TBR, I'm sure there will be more, is Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. This one I saw from it was her who was it? Reagan on uh, the Perused Project. Um, she sort of was going on about this series, and 
I like I like the idea of it. It's, a t it's to do with time travel, and it looks like this lady's time travelled in in London. And I have to say, I d I just like the the cover. I thought it was really really nice. So I'm gonna give this a go again. I've never read any of this lady's uh, works, so I'm gonna give that a go and, and see how I enjoy it. And if I do, I will read the other two in the trilogy so far. But that's all my TBR for this month. I'm sure it's going to grow. I'm sure I'm going to read more than four books. But we'll wait and see what happens. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments down below. Um, you can like it, you can dislike it, or you can not make any comment at all. But hopefully I will see you again soon with another video. Until then, bye!